How you doing YouTube? Cube all here. Got music in the background. Um, so I don't know if you can quite hear me. I'm just going to turn it off. Got my little cell. Can of Foster's. Got the music. Thought I'd share as well while we're here. Um, new lighting system. Can move it about as well if I want to. Great. Hook it up. Spare bulbs. Thinking maybe I might even uh, put it up like that. For now, be a fine like that. Yeah. Health uh, home base, ten quid. Great idea with a cable and a switch. Anyway, point of today's video. There are other videos that you've probably seen before. You've seen this one. Um, bring you in if I can. Um, you've seen, you've all seen the wrap before. I don't know if you can quite see. So we've got that light in here. Um, but I can bring that light down if I need to. Yeah, so I'm going to bring that down there. That's another great thing with this light. Just hook it up wherever I want it. Yeah, so I think there's more light there than what you think. Yeah, so underneath there, as you can see, is a uh, exhaust that's wrapped up. And the idea is to repair this here. Um, yeah, so today um, I've done a repair in the past, but the MOT is coming up, you can hear it again. So I'm going to get all this wrap off, if you can hear, Let's see, there's my shoe. Um, that bolt's giving me a bit of leeway, so I'm going to get all this off and uh, I'm going to have a go at it. I'm going to try and move that lighting down a bit. Get in there, and I'll uh, and I'll record bits as as I'm doing it. So I'm going to get cracking. I'm back with you in a minute. Oh, back again. Music's on. Let's get cracking. I've moved the light over a bit more. Hopefully you can see me a bit better. I just have to bear with me. Just make a couple of short clips. Get scissors in there. I'm going to reuse this one. Let's get cracking. This is a there you go, there's one. So I'm, I'm going to get this wrap off. Hopefully I can uh, untangle all of that. Yeah, so I'm going to get that off and I'll come back to you in a sec. Back again. Don't need to take this black wrap off here. Um, as you can see, over the years I've been bodging this up. Just got to get this metal. I made a couple of brackets at work, probably reuse them if you can. Yeah, so I'm just going to get this off here and uh, I'll show you the next bit. Back again, got the two brackets off. I'm going to, uh, I don't know if you can quite see, I think it's quite dark down there. All the crap there, look. I'm going to strip all that off now. I don't know if I've got enough lighting down here for you to see. I'm going to give it. I'm just going to do a little clip so I ain't going to bore you with it. I'm going to show you a little idea I've come up with. Better than this metal, more flexible. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's get all this crap off and I'll come back to you. <coughs> well, I don't think you can quite see all this shit here, look. From all that crap I've done over here. That's a Jubilee clip there. I'll put another sheet on that away a bit. The old still blowing through because of the centre stand. So the idea is get this off, and then I'm going to show you the trick that I'm going to do to get it all off. I'll come back to you in a minute. Back again. Well, after all that hammering and screwing all the shit off, that's 12 months of <coughs> riding in all the weathers and a couple of plates of shit that I've put on there and heat wrap and crap. Um, the main hole is underneath, so if I can just get you under there, I don't know if you can quite see, it's, it is a big hole, hopefully you could see that, yeah, so I'm just going to clean this mess up, brush that up a bit, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to repair it properly this time without this 
scrappy metal that you can't bend. Oh, back again. There is the quite see it. the damage. So next job, it's in the old gum gum. I'm going to fill it up. Yeah, so I'm going to get that off. I'll and I'll gum gum it up, and then I'll show you after the. Uh, but, uh, back again. There are a little, little tip for it as well. I can get some of this off uh, eBay. It's uh, a metal heat tape, two quid for a roll. I've had it for ages. Yeah, I'll just try to put the gum gum on. Another little idea for you. Now, we get this is only a rat bike, it's not going to go on your like my RF600R. I'd get it properly done, but because it's a rat, I don't want to spend no money on it. So, I've taped her up, covered the hole up which basically gives me a foundation now to put all the gum gum over the top of that, let it harden and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to wrap it to seal it up better than that shitty metal that I put on before so I'm going to gum it up, I'll come back to you with a gum on and then I'll come back to you with a trick that I come up with the other day oh, I'm back again as you can see I've uh, gummed it all up let that harden now and then I'm going to show you the next trick. I think it's a great idea. It's only temporary. I'll come back to you in a minute. Cue ball back. Here's my great idea. Probably thinking, what the fuck? Yeah. The can of fox. Great. How flexible that is. Brilliant. So, the idea of this fill it up with gum gum and put it around the pipe. So I'm going to do it, get back to it, and I'll show you when I'm done. And that's where I am at the moment. The tin of Fosters, a bit of gum gum, some metal cable ties, and to top it off, I'm going to wrap it up with some heat, uh, metal heat tape, and then put some black wrap around it. And I'll uh, show you the final uh, bit. I'm just going to show you the other side. The other side. Just, I know it's not going to last very long, but it'll get you through an MOT, and then who gives a fuck after that? When you've got a rat bike, you get your MOT, and then you ride the fuck out of it through the winter and whatever. Come back to you in a bit. It's cue ball here again, I don't know if I've just recorded that. So I'm going to redo this again. Right, I've just put some um, metal heat tape on it. I've also put some gum gum over it for one final uh, sealant. And I'm going to do the same on the other side and then I'm going to fill it up with the old uh, heat wrap and then hopefully that'll be done that's the other side I've just filled it all up with tape out there's no holes now um, I might even put some gum gum <coughs> put some heat wrap around it and then we'll test it well finally after fucking hours and hours of shit I've done my repair you can't see anything that I've done let show you there um, I'm just going to test it now, make sure there's no leaks, and I'll uh, do one final vlog on what's next to come. Cube all back, fucking shattered. So after hours and hours of fucking wrapping it up, fucking taping it up, and the uh, the cheap way of doing it with the can of Fosters, there's still a slight leak at the top. Um, I'm fucking knackered now. I'm hoping that's good enough to get me through an MOT. I've just got to get the indicator done, um, and then I'm just going to book her in. If she fails, she fails. I'll just get her back in and I'll bod her up again. Anyway, hope that uh, well, that was a fun video. Just a bit of ratism what we've done in the past. Um, said I wanted to get the exhaust system off and do it properly, but it's been in there that long. 
there's a lot of rush there as well and I just don't want to take it out and spend money and it's one of them mate, it's a rat bike it's get it through the MOT and it'll do me in the winter I've got the RF as my main bike this is just a project on the side of uh, obviously over the years this has been my main bike I think it's getting to the uh, end of its life well I don't just don't want to spend no more money on it basically it's just a bit of fun on the side so I'm going to leave it there um, edit what I can and uh, yeah leave your comments below and I'll get back to you for the next one I'd say.